Because once you're on session nine, these are now time-honored traditions. Um, it's a family tradition, actually, handed down through the generations. We are going to roll a d20 for the privilege and honor of recapping the last session. And for the third week in a row, everyone's here. Insane. So please, roll a d20, and uh, we will go around the table. Uh, let's go this way this week. Four. A four. Eight. Eight. Six. Six. Wow, this side's rolling great. Five. Are you guys kidding I was like, me? don't you fucking do it was to me. Eight? Twelve. Twelve? <laughs> Fifteen, motherfucker. Oh, <laughs> yes. Is this your it's first recap? This is slowly going on. I was going yeah. to say, if, I, if, I, if it came all the way around and I had won again on an eight, <laughs> I was going to be so furious. <laughs> <laughs> now, all right. Now that I'm on the spot and want to remember, I remember absolutely nothing. Uh, I can't help you either. I know we had recently murdered uh, a bunch of criminals, then uh, <laughs> rolled the bot, split the party in like seven different ways. <laughs> uh, Which was hard to do with only six of us. <laughs> Uh, well, we found a way. Yeah, we, yeah. Uh, we rolled some bodies, uh, <coughs> got some gold after selling their crap, uh, successfully buried the bodies in time so that they did not become zombies later and terrorize the town. Uh, the, the, the rabbit folk then created more dead bodies in the woods somewhere <laughs> by following someone to a second location, foolishly. Uh, and then yeah, the uh, ones who ended up dead. I did not. I I'm not, I was not there. Was I? <laughs> no. 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 Okay. So it was, <laughs> was one, right? of, one of the rabbits. <laughs> the, well, yeah. The crime lord. Uh, and our kenku. And the kenku. <laughs> I knew it was some sort of creature. I didn't know such thing. <laughs> uh, Melody. I probably had a B storyline going on. Yeah. I don't remember. Good. Continue to ruin uh, some starlet's life and propping her up <clears throat> then just to bring her down later. Um, and now we were going to move into uh, the actual fair happening. This, this is what that I, was a recap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. That's better than I would have Welcome to Jason's brain. Uh, so... Uh, you take a uh, inspiration dice because, you know, by technicality, you <laughs> recast. <laughs> yeah. um, you take a reverse inspiration. <laughs> um, the question is, will I remember it during the game? Uh, so, uh, we wrapped up the first storyline last week, uh, finding out that the Jolly Baker uh, had um, killed uh, a boy in uh, the rival town of Runemore uh, who was masquerading in a kind of like a leather bat suit uh, and doing petty crimes. Uh, the Jolly Baker had murdered him and then uh, taken that suit and begin, began murdering other people uh, to cover his tracks um, while dressed kind of stupid. It didn't really <laughs> super fit him. Uh, the gang brought everyone down, murdering a, a, a father in front of his son. Um, helped put some fires out in town. And then uh, began kind of uh, wrapping up loose threads and um, figuring out what the next steps were. Uh, they also uh, investigated the Jolly Baker's uh, bake shop, bakery. Uh, with uh, Evangeline and Lily uh, Dottre, uh, the adoptive parents of a boy that they found out was put into a pond. Um, certain members of this group did, in fact, eat the pie. Um, <laughs> it was the drugs. <laughs> members? <laughs> and, uh, yeah, and then um, also, yeah, uh, a couple members of the group... Uh, did uh, a, a brief rescue mission uh, of some Kinku worker uh, and uh, managed to uh, defeat the member of the uh, was it the ICC yes uh, who had been uh, who had been uh, out after our recently deceased goblins. Um, I what else am I missing? Sarah. Uh, 
got a haircut. It looks real nice. She has she has officially shed her her, her moth like or caterpillar state and is becoming a butterfly or something. Yeah. And uh, I literally have a note that just says Melody becomes Esmeralda's pimp. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you did tell her to go work the streets. Yeah. That is exactly what happened. Yep, that was the whole storyline I had for that entire set. That, that was your beeline. <laughs> you <laughs> gave her a mullet with an ombre and said, get out on the street. <laughs> yeah. Get Danny her money. Yeah, I remember this. I remember this. That is exactly word for word what mm-hmm. happened. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, what else were we forgetting? Anything else? I took a nap, finally. Yeah. Yeah, we finally got in our rest. Mm-hmm. We we had uh, to, uh, Ezekiel and Oliver decided to uh, tag along, you know, follow the Follow the cool uh, gang of people doing random stuff. Nine days. Uh, so, the fair runs for four more days, and then uh, there's going to be five more days, or six more days, uh, after that that you're going to be staying in town. Um, so, let's start uh, Let's start with Sarah. Um, the reason that Sarah and Leaf came to town was to sell Our veggies. the veggies. So after all of the excitement of the past few days, you can actually get down to business selling your vegetables. Um, so Perfect. I need one of you to roll a D10 and one of you to roll a D10 with the extra numbers on it. I'll do the extra number one. Yeah, because I don't know. Oh, he's talking about the D110? Yeah. <laughs> Six. Well, Sixteen. Four. All right, so you make 64 gold over the next four nice. days. That uh, It's up to you how you divide it up. But 64 right, gold over the next four Gotta forget, those were second-hand veggies. And you are now it. basically sold out. Um, I like it. Yeah, and uh, as you guys are selling everything, there's uh, the townsfolk are actually... Um, actually, before, before I delve into that and tell you, um, can both of you please... Roll me. Uh, actually, you can tell me. So here's what here's what it is. The town folk are very happy that you saved the town. There also have been told by certain people that you are a little uh, dangerous and uh, kingpinish. Uh, kingpinish. You guys are taking out. You guys are cornering the vegetable market aggressively. So can, can you guys uh, tell me? As you're selling the vegetables and talk, or are they genuinely happy? Do we eat, we each get to do it? Or yes, perfect. I'll go first. You can go first. So every person that buys a vegetable from us, I'm going to first shake their hand. I'm going to introduce myself. Say hi. I'm Sarah Padnos. If I haven't already met them, uh-huh. obviously by now we've met a lot of people. Even if you have met them, it doesn't seem to stop you. No, I'm still getting. Yeah, they're still getting a handshake no matter what. Uh, and I'm going to ask each one of them what their favorite thing to eat with or make with the vegetable that they're making is. And if it's something I've heard before, I'm going to be excited about it and say, oh, I love that. Or if I have never heard of it before, I'm going to intently ask them for the recipe and write the whole thing down and seem really interested in everything that they're doing and waste a lot of time, unfortunately. Is there anyone here that doesn't think that should be a performance check? Is there anyone who wants to argue it's something besides performance? Make a performance check for me. (laughs) While he's doing that, what are you doing, Josh? Well... Initially, I know last week we talked, my whole plan was with the fundraiser, the uh-huh. fundraiser soccer game, that that would kind of help oh, that people correct. over. So I don't know if, if that could be more of a part than just the yes. selling aspect. I would like you, then, uh, to roll a persuasion check with advantage. Okay. okay. Actually, not bad. 17. All right. So uh, with your powers combined, uh, the the townsfolk, while slightly understanding of the ultra violence you are capable of and the physical prowess you have, especially when you have to explain to, to old man Abernathy that you burnt two men alive in his barn. Um, that was an abandoned. Farm. Well, it was it was his farm. It, it was, was just an abandoned part farm. of his farm. Oh, I didn't know that. That you guys <laughs> murdered some folks and burned it to the ground. He was totally going to refurbish that. Like an hour after you just murdered a bunch of people in the middle of the town, you're like, "We're going to head out over to your place now and kill more." <laughs> it's like <laughs> it's like when I left, it was raining. <laughs> we look at the victims. Um, we save somebody. But yeah, the um, over the next 
four days, uh, no more incidents happen. You manage not to uh, punch elderly men, uh, injured children in arm wrestling competitions, um, murder people off the roofs, kill children's fathers in front of them. Didn't say anything about pimping. Well, just these two. The human, the human trafficking. Um, so, yeah, you have, I would say, a pretty successful fair. Muscle um, melody. Event promoter. <laughs> the Don King of... Uh, also, during the fair, Leaf, you take uh, some of your downtime in the evening, mostly as a way of avoiding any uncomfortable conversations uh, that may come up with other um, people at the fair that you might be trying to avoid a little bit. Uh Um, (laughs) When you finish, you do such a phenomenal job um, that you actually speak to the husband who uh, runs, he was uh, Bertie Moore's uh, husband. Yeah. Uh, who was murdered. And, you know, he thanks you for all the work you've done with the town. And he says, you know, listen, I've been thinking and without Birdie, I don't I don't want to be here no more. Uh, not, you know, alive. I'm, oh. Yeah, no, I'm not. Like, it's not like that. Thank I just meant specifically here. I think I'm going to maybe just see the, see the world a little bit. And I would like you to, to have this for you and your Husband? That's my cousin. Oh, cousin. Um, I think I think you. Uh, like so, if you, like, I don't get it. I've been here my whole life. <laughs> Give it to those rabbits that came in last Tuesday. Um, but yeah, he does end up because uh, you that twenty on picking the place up, and he was going to leave and, and thinking about selling it and stuff. Tells you as long as you take care of it, he's happy to pack up the dress shop and, and give it to you guys. So there is a dress shop in this town? Well, no, it's not a dress shop. It's a shoe shop. Oh, okay. It was a shoe shop. I, I mean, I, I have to think about it. I, it's a mighty fine gesture. He's like, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. I already filed the paperwork. <laughs> also, you owe all the back taxes. <laughs> yeah, he can uh, He can give you give you the deed uh, to the, the to, it's a uh, small two-story Um Shoe store. It's just a storefront at the bottom uh, with a small back room and then uh, two bedrooms upstairs. Awesome. That'll be perfect for you and your husband. <laughs> um, sorry. Mm-hmm. I think I'd get a house out of this. Um, during uh, during the the fair when you aren't selling your uh, your wares, mm-hmm. um, you help out your cousin a little bit with some rebuilding things. But um, you spend some time uh, working on your different animal shapes. And um, one of your favorites uh, is uh, a spider. And you really enjoy uh, uh, bamfing into a spider and kind of just hanging out as a spider. Because my first one was a 13, but my second one was a nat 20 plus 6. Jesus. All right, Nat Twenty downtime. Uh, <laughs> they give you the bar. Here you go, Spider. Here's the deed. Spider saves the bar. They don't even know that it's you. There's like this spider. You spin a web that says "Good Pig." Um, so that would probably mesmerize a whole town. Uh, so with the Nat Twenty, uh, on the third day of the fair. You notice, uh, a couple days ago, uh, and you recognize them as uh, ICC agents. Um, okay. They are in town looking for uh, the two men that you know they're not going to find. Um, they are told pretty quickly that they've been dispatched by this group. And uh, you're like, oh, man, I'm going to have to let them know that trouble is in town. Uh, the two men sit and have a drink, and as they have drinks, they begin talking um, oh man, a nat 20. Plus 6. Um, <laughs> so basically, they talk about a man named Glim who is in charge of the ICC. He has sent them there to find these two agents 
who they know are dead. Okay. And the one man is saying, you know, we gotta we gotta report this back to Glim, you know, and he's like, Should we should we take all these guys out first? Should we make an example out of this town for allowing this to happen to the ICC? I say we burn down the stable, like all these things. And after a couple of drinks, the other guy gets a little loose. And he says, you know, listen to me. We didn't want to let you in on this. Glim's time is over. We're pushing them out. Uh, he's been working with someone named Sheena from the Diamond Port. Uh, yeah, Leaf, you get together with uh, Nyx during, um, as the uh, festival is starting to wind down a little bit. Uh, and um, you let Nyx, uh, Nyx, you are good at forging, is that correct? Yep. Um, so you have the idea with Nyx to start forging apology letters back and forth between Runemore and Farnthorpe to treat all I'm making my own from now on. I don't know these fit what I want. Um, like, I need a politics check. What would you guys say? History? Yeah, I mean, I'm going to say history. Yeah. I, mean, I, yeah. Need a, I need a history check for you. Oh, man. Okay. I am good. It's you. What? 15. Okay. Um, so, yeah, you decide to uh, send letters from, um, uh, what is his name, Lambert? Is his name? Lambert, Lambert Longhorn. Long yeah, Lambert. <laughs> uh, from Lambert to the, uh, to the, the, uh, boon guard up there, just saying, hey, you know, sorry things have been out of hand for a while, but it's up to me and you to kind of, to police this situation, and I think we can help you, kind of thing. Um, and then you send one from the opposite, from the mayor of Farnthorpe to the mayor, nope, from the mayor of Runemore to the mayor of Farenthorpe, saying, hey, I'm, you know, we, we heard about the murders and that you lost some folks as well. You know, thank you so much for getting to the bottom of this. Also, the, uh, the rogue squadron that attacked you, uh, I'm glad they were dealt with. Um, you know, they were outcasts from our city as well. You know, thank you so much and we're very sorry. Um, I need uh, you, Nix, to make, is anybody against a performance check for the forgeries? Should it be sleight of hand instead? Well, you would use a forgery kit uh -huh. check, so he is, well, he's got forging expertise. Right, so he would use the forgery kit check. Like, there's, tools are a specific check. Okay, so what would the check be? It's the same, it's a basically anything that you have proficiency in. Uh, no, I understand, but what would, so what would it be? It would, it would be roll the d20 and add your proficiency? So, again, you can make there fine, or you could be like, I'm making a forgery check to write passionately, like, you know what I mean? Like, uh -huh. So you can use any one of your abilities, right. uh, but then you get your, the standard same thing of, like, proficiency bonus plus your staff bonus for uh -huh. whichever one, so it, it would be like a plus five or a plus seven, whatever his skill is. So, basically, anything you don't have expertise in. Okay, it's not charisma, work. so it would be dexterity, so sleight of hand check, please, and then uh, you'll add your bonus. See, okay. so you, yeah, you have proficiency in sleight of hand, so it basically works out the same. But, uh, but what it is. Um, and also, uh, I can probably hear the mail as well. Um, so, can you make your, your, both of you, it's your decision, do you want to try to slip them into the mail, or do you want to lie and tell him that uh, you were given this to mail uh, and you also have to put the one from the other town into the mail here. How are we doing that? Could I sneak it in at night? Sure. No one's around. Sure. Uh, go ahead and just roll me a stealth check. 15 plus 6 to 21. 21. Yeah. With no problem. Uh, your uh, you know spending most of your time next door anyway and coming in and drinking and hanging out and stuff. Um, with no problem, you just wait till there's a lull late at night and you just kind of switch the back and pop one in the send, one in the coming, you know, incoming and walk back off with no one the wiser. Uh, easy enough. Um, 
melody. Uh, during the fair, uh, about possibly getting some sort of job for her. Um, she really wants to do something uh, in acting. Um, so you talk to your and you get Sarah a job um, where she gets a goal a day and her and Madame Mystique dress her up in different really stupid outlandish outfits. Like, you see her sometimes just walking by with, like, an eye patch and a stuffed parrot. And, like, then the next time you see her, she has, like, a big gray piled-up wig and a long gown on. And her job is to just go get her fortune told every couple hours in a new outfit and scream about how great she is. And then just walk around being like, I can't believe how amazing Miss Mystique is over there. Have you... Have you had a chance to do that yet? So she's a shill? Yeah. She just spends the next four days... <laughs> she's a plant. An plant, audience. Yeah, being a plant. Uh, and, and she does make four gold. Um, so a little walking around money for Sarah. And she gets to stretch her acting legs a little bit and try some different... Is she uh, having fun with it at She least? loves awesome. it. Okay. And she... Uh, as long as she's having fun. He's really not believable. She's <laughs> a simple child who's just having fun at the fair. Um, which is not that far off, actually. Yeah, it's pretty much what's going on. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, so, uh, you, what's the problem evening? Um, can you roll me, uh, the D100, the two, uh, two 100 things? Two D10s, and one of them might have two digits, if you're lucky. Yeah, gotta break out the, uh... Otherwise roll 10s, the then things. roll... Or... Oh, yeah, see, that one's got two digits on it. <laughs> oh, oh, 20 sides. <laughs> um, and then uh, roll, uh, roll a performance check for me. Um, man, you have just consistently killed it all week with your performances. People are really, really enjoying you. I have a really, really good plan for if I roll low. Yeah? I, oh, yeah. <laughs> like that, Sarah. Um, I can't talk about it, but I got a plan. <laughs> <laughs> over, the ne- over the four uh, days, because of your performances, uh, it lead- with 17, it leads you to some private performances as well. Uh, some... Uh, you actually like speak on panels about like the craft of writing and performing. <laughs> uh, you're invited to to give workshops and things like that. You earn another seventy four gold uh, from the side hustle. Super. It's been a very lucrative week for you. During the festival, uh, you also wanted to buy two basic healing potions. Correct. Um, so yeah, that uh, they have them on sale. They're fifty gold pieces a piece, so it'd be a hundred gold. Guys, persuade them to make it cheaper. Uh, no, that's the price because it's a small. Do that in gold. Yeah. Oh damn. <laughs> Who did you rob? Yeah. Yeah. I just sold the axe. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> And then you wanted to buy some arrows. Who else wanted to buy some arrows? I did. Okay. I'll just uh, do. I'll do one potion. <clears throat> okay. Uh, arrows. What What do you got? Are you, you got a short bow, long bow? Uh, short bow. Okay. So just a regular, regular arrow. Are we, are we keeping track of arrows now? I've you been trying to. Took off uh, towards that cabin. <clears throat> I'll spend ten gold. Okay. Uh, so you have 200 arrows. No. Whatever that is. 50 arrows. Do it was 10 gold. 2 gold for every 20. Yeah, so it's a 1 so gold for every 10. So I don't know why they do that. So 100, yeah. Alright. I'll do the same. Okay. Just 
walking through town with a barrel of arrows. <laughs> You have nothing to fear about townspeople. <laughs> nothing to fear at all. I'm going to be like keeping the majority of them like in the cart. We're just loading up this cart full of like weapons of war. Like, yeah, no, like, nothing to see here. We sold all the vegetables. Um, Zeke and Oliver. Uh, during the fair, uh, an evening comes where you were both discussing uh, the map that you have. Ooh, the map. And your next steps. Um, and what would you like to do during uh, your downtime? Crime. I was just about to say, like, what's a good word for crime? Mm. What's, what's a happy word for <laughs> Reconnoiter some okay. gold storage areas somewhere in the town. Some uh, mishappenings. Yeah. It's Ooh, to raw measures. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're going to redistribute <laughs> wealth mm. to, to yourselves. Yes, it's not a, it's not a, right. it's not a good thing. <laughs> All right, so you spend 25 gold, right, uh, getting gathering information on potential targets. Uh, and uh, after a while, you do find out uh, that in the back of the mayor's house is a panel behind his, uh, his uh, desk. And uh, in, in that secret panel would be a safe. Um, and you do know that... Uh, they are, uh, as they are taking their their tolls for everything, they are dropping large amounts of cash into that safe. Collecting the taxes. Um, so, uh, all right, it says you are able to choose your own DC, is that right? No, you choose the DC based on DC the function. richness or difficulty of our target. Character must make a series check. The DC for all checks chosen by the character, according to the amount of profit sought. For. Oh, the amount of profit sought for the crime. I see. Yes. Okay. So, are we just trying to go all out and rob this town? Well, we're just trying. We're just trying to. We're just trying to find out where they keep uh, the the most gold. You know, it's a. We're expecting it to be a, a, a moderately difficult target. Maybe okay. maybe a little on the higher side. So I need. And do you want one of you to take the lead on different parts of it, or it's not really a group check? There's only two of you. Yeah, we're moving. We're moving together and, and working to uh, do our best to grant each other advantage by creating distractions. And, and uh, one of you is going to make an investigation check uh, as you are uh, sourcing out and uh, staking out the area. I got. I got a fifteen. <laughs> All right, that was the DC. So. Nice. Yeah, by, by what? Um, as you are looking around uh, the... <laughs> Hi, baby. The whole child. <laughs> <laughs> wow, thank you so much for this flower. I love it. Thank you. Thank you very much. This is the... Uh, kind of a hug? The weekly touching fatherly moment that, <laughs> that occurs almost every week now. Um, it's the... Uh, like a, so it keeps our views high. Yeah, no, it's yeah. it's like that that moment in every like sitcom every week, like where the dad has a touching moment with the kids. Oh, I gotta go. Thank you. All right, put it on me. I love you. All right. Uh, so now, uh, as Good you're job. as you're looking uh, around and, and the evening's winding down, um, I need one of you uh, to make a uh, perception check. Uh, as you're starting to unlock that back door. Uh, okay. Can I, can I interest you in a thieves tour? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> unlock the door. You will soon. <laughs> uh, so, you are the lookout and, <laughs> and the guy around. and the guy opening the door. <laughs> All right. Uh, after a while, you see the coast is clear, and you're going to uh, attempt to, to uh, slip in the back door by unlocking it. And uh, I now need a dexterity uh, check, stealth check, or uh, a sleight of hand, I suppose. That's not what this says, but we'll go with sleight of hand. One to five. Uh, easy enough. You guys slip in. Uh, once you're in there, uh, there are two offices. There's the office that you know about, which is the mayor's that has the safe in the back. Uh, you also see uh, Lambert's, uh, like his office as well, which seems to mirror. Uh, everyone seems to be asleep. Um, you can try one or both of them. Uh, you know there's a score in, in the one. Well, 
I mean, Ollie, I think, uh, I think there's a possibility we could ease our way into uh, both of these at the same time. Yeah. You have the ability to crack the safe, whereas I might be able to maneuver carefully and dig through some drawers and see if there's any fine cutlery or jewelry. He's going to debase himself with getting ordinary items. I'm going to uh, get the gun. Such a small town have such a nice safe. <laughs> Do you use uh, the... Uh, it's really upsetting. Take ten rules. That, that's not a... <laughs> five me thing. So, uh, in your room... Uh, go ahead and make uh, an investigation check. Boy, you sure do like the uh, the ones I have no training in. <laughs> uh, investigation 12. Well, what would you like to do to no, investigate a room? I, 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 I'm fine with it. I just... <laughs> uh, I got a 12. With a 12, uh, you... Uh, and you're not finding a whole lot of great stuff in this room. It's pretty boring stuff from a pretty old uh, Boone's Guard cop. Um... It's starting to go sideways what? pretty fast here. <laughs> Let's swap. <laughs> you guys want to... I mean, I mean, yeah, after I'm like, well, you know, there there doesn't seem to be anything of, of value in this. Well, <laughs> DC 15. Like me. And I got a 22. Yeah, you walk over and you... And you're like, oh, it's because it wasn't locked. <laughs> it's just open. That's why you're not hearing the tumble, and you just open it. Um, Love it. Roll me a D100. A D. Um, this will be bad. No, oh, not bad. 75. Okay, and then I also need you to roll me a uh, D4. One. All right, you find seventy-five gold. Okay, uh, not what as much as you were hoping for. You were really, really hoping to hit a bit bigger jackpot <coughs> than this, but the safe's open, so you know they're not doing a there good job is. Of protecting this stuff. Uh, what'd you get? Uh, uh, I rolled a natural twenty for a twenty-four. No, you did not. It. I love it. I love it. <laughs> so just like his safe was open. <laughs> You're like, did you look on the top of the desk here? He's he's clearly written some sort of letter that looks very salacious. Uh, and you're like, ah, I went through the drawers. I never thought to look on the desk. I mean, I, I was mostly looking for shiny things. So you, you find... Um, <laughs> so you find a letter uh, that is written... Um, by uh, by Lambert, uh, and it's only about half written. And it's crossed out a bunch, and you can see that he's kind of given up. Uh, and it says, um, "Dear Lord Inquisitor Abaddon, um, I understand that the the new mayor." can't slip up. Um, thank you for letting me know about the mayor of Gilder Lank. Um, I will speak with my boom guard compatriot up there. Perhaps a little more money would make it. And that's he's just like, I just gave up. And he's crossing things out. He's trying to think of the nicest possible way to ask the Lord Inquisitor Abaddon for some money to make something happen. Out there, like lighting some torches and, and, and putting up like land to paper lanterns, mm. and you guys just come out as everyone else is rushing toward you, like, Ooh, indeed, yes, and just kind of gets bumped <laughs> up to the crowd and are gone. Uh, heist successful, <laughs> indeed, yes, <laughs> indeed, yeah, yeah oh, revelry. Confirmed, um, confirmed. <laughs> um, okay, uh, Melody. You wanted to buy a uh, long way, uh, a crossbow, correct? Yeah. Um, yeah. Does any, anybody else have things they want to purchase during this uh, fair? No. Not me, at least. I think I got my arrows, and that's pretty much all I needed. So they have um, uh, they have light crossbows, hand crossbows, and heavy crossbows. Light crossbow. The light crossbow. Um, they have 25 gold, but you've been kind of ingraining yourself in with this this group of carny folk over the last couple days. Go ahead and uh, roll a 
a persuasion check to DC 15 to see if you can get a discount. Yeah. Yeah, so unfortunately they're like, ah, price is the price. Uh, so it'd be 25 gold. Uh, we'll get you a used, uh, nice light crossbow. Here. Uh, it does come with uh, with five bolts. Uh, and if you want to buy a bunch more, I want to buy more. Yeah, sure. Uh, <laughs> your whole group just walking around with barrels. <laughs> Everything's fine. Um, I do immediately customize it with like dried flowers and stuff like that. Like nice. the rest of my weapons and instruments. Um, as the fear. Uh, winds down and we get uh, into just uh, straight downtime here in town. Is there anything else anybody wants to do at the fair before it packs up and takes off? Um, okay. Um, yeah. I, I want to give Sarah the cape thing. Oh, yeah, alright. Yeah. <laughs> um, and also, is there any chance that Oliver writes me back before the fair leaves? Because most of why I was writing him was to see if my fair friend like I'm sorry. I was distracted by the chat, knocking it off chat. Uh, what, what did you say? Um, I have to reset. I'm what sorry. If, if Oliver um, responded, back. If Oliver, oh sure, 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 sure. Just because I was trying to help that fair yes. girl out, and that's why I wrote him. Yeah. So uh, that is correct. Or my parents maybe wanted to say they were proud of me. <laughs> me too. Just wanted to see if anybody, yeah, even my brother that I hate, messaged me back. I don't know. Just, you know. Uh, so I you can do, send them gold. So. You do get a letter uh, from Oliver. It arrives as the, the fair is packing up and you're able to run over uh, to your friend who had a name. Do you know the name? I can find out. Let's pick, a, not let's pick name. another name. Anybody know the name? Anybody remember the name? Doesn't also matter. named Oliver. Yeah. yeah. Olivina. Um, <laughs> Steve. Uh, Olivia. Madam <laughs> Misty. Madam and uh, you run over to her. Uh, uh, so you got a letter from your brother. Yeah. He says there's a new variety troupe uh, setting up a one night only high coin performance at La Salle Berger. Priya. Huh? Priya. Was Madam Misty. Priya. I'm like... No, it's not. No, it's I have the somewhere. Um, so yeah, he's setting, he says there's a new variety troupe setting up a one night only high coin performance at La Salle de Gere. The troupe is called the Théâtre du Gugnot, and they are an avant-garde performers uh, from the Golden Cities to the South. Uh, he's got a job as a local opening performer for it, and he believes he could probably get you a spot. He says if you can get here, he'd love to uh, try to get you a spot. Uh, he, he, did you specifically say for Priya as well? In your I role? also, yeah. So yeah, Priya. so he would say for both of you, you know, if okay. you guys can get there, he would definitely try to, try to hook it up and it's in Gilder language. Is that his whole letter? Just, was there anything? I don't know. He's also very proud of me. <laughs> cool. Uh, <laughs> if my parents aren't at least, he is. Um, 75 gold for one performance. Which, like, these names sound fun too. They sound very foreign. Yeah. Uh, are, 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 are you going to try to do it? Is that something you're interested in? Um, I don't know if I'm headed that way, but... She's like, well, I'm going to I'm gonna try it out. I'm going to I'll head toward Gilder Link and uh, see what happens. Cool. And so maybe we'll, maybe I'll see you there. Maybe. And uh, so, yeah, so Priya is heading out uh, to... I want to hook up with your brother. Meet up with your brother. There we go. Um, and a sister. And uh, yeah, and uh, so she's 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 very happy uh, with you. Um, as she uh, as she goes to leave, she actually gives you. Um, sorry, ah, my leg just keeps cramping. I walked like seven miles today. It was just the worst. Um, anyway, she gives you a um, her fake like bejeweled medallion thing, and she's like, "Here for your troubles." Thank uh, you. So you so this. Much. Really cool, ornate uh, costume jewelry give it to Sarah. medallion thing. Sarah's very <laughs> yeah. excited for it. Um, and yeah, then she like takes one of her dresses uh, that she made and kind of like wraps this big hair headpiece thing, the medallion, and is like, ooh. <laughs> and she's thrilled. Uh, it's been a great week for Sarah. She's feeling the bohemian lifestyle uh, <laughs> of, of, of everything right now. It's really into it. Um, she's she's wit, 
witnessed several murders, has agreed to travel in a wagon with a group of complete strangers. It's all happening. <laughs> I'm sure, all the human traffic. <laughs> Um, this is this is exactly possible. how it happens in real life too, though. <laughs> it's it's not really contingent on the fair, but at some point before we decide if we're packing up and leaving, um, I would like to write a letter back to my family. Okay. And let see them if they're know. proud of you. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, let them know that I've acquired this uh-huh. property never as well, and okay. that I may be traveling a bit more than I originally planned in the future with Saro. Okay. And it. It might be worthwhile sending Sprig, who is my younger brother, but the eldest of all of my siblings, okay. to maybe run the storefront, and they can use the old shoe shop as a place to sell more vegetables and oh, okay. goods. And he could just, like, once a week or something, take one of the family's carts back and forth to get more supplies. And okay. Just, he could take the spare bedroom. You're starting a family. You want him to start a family him, uh, business. Leave him the... Um, uh, Biggs, the boars. Yeah, we can. We can keep them. We can leave them the boars that he could use to travel back and forth if needed. Oh, okay. Since we haven't really needed them as often. Uh, and okay. yeah. Awesome. He sends you. I desperately need to print this map out. Bear with me. But now we have a place to stay, and it's still being occupied, and taken care of. So. We don't have to worry about our pigs. Yep. Our boars. Because yeah, we have two horses, right? We have one that pulls the cart, and we have dandelion liquor. Yeah. Oh my god. Yep. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah, so he asks you, um, you get a letter back from him. You send it early in the week, get it back later. He's super, uh, your family's super excited about this. Uh, Sprig writes back. Says he'd love to visit the big city. The big city uh, to him <laughs> is uh, Fargo, oh. um, and That's uh, accurate. and uh, <laughs> he asks if you guys would be able to uh, bring the um, the pigs uh, to Cross Towen and meet him there. Sure. Uh, and then he could that way he could bring them back to the farm, hook everything up, and, and start bringing it over. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you guys arrange that when you uh, go through Crosto and you can meet up with Sprig and, and awesome. all of that. Uh, the only thing I would I would ask if because since it is my like property, if like we could get just a small portion of sales, sure, to just help us along our journeys. Yeah, no, I think it makes sense that you guys become uh, property owners in this town and demand. A small percentage of all the businesses. I think that fits with what you're doing here. <laughs> I misunderstood I the instructions. The yeah. it's, a, it's a uh, protection fee. Got it. Yeah. Uh, make sure these windows stay put. You, uh, I'm you, pimping Sarah out, but they started a mafia. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Exactly. You hung. You hung all They're the. They're actually uh, racketeering. You hung all the uh, like the, the the leather hoods that all of the uh, the, the, <laughs> the the bad the guys were wearing, <laughs> like on the outside of your thing, just as a just as a similar warning. There's to pikes outside. What we do to we what walk we, in. Hi, welcome to the Happy Hair Guy. You better be happy. Also, uh, Slay the man everywhere. Also, you uh, you guys um, tell Spring you're like, hey, occasionally we might like come across some money but it's like we've gotten it from other people <laughs> so we're going to send you the money and then you're going to put it through the business and then send it back to us um, and you'll get to keep 10% of it uh, as well uh, and you've now started a money laundering uh, oh business. boy money laundering <laughs> um, more like bunny laundering am I right oh, oh dang we all take he's, he's he six did seven. it oh. <laughs> I think you should get inspiration for that. Yeah, all right. Yeah. <laughs> I will, uh, all right. I'll give it to you. Cool. Uh, DM inspiration. Uh, so. I have a couple of things. Yes, please. So, in the amount of time that, that the weeks are going on, uh, Leaf is out there doing the hard work of rebuilding things. Oliver's got to kind of saunter up and do uh, the bare minimum of of work. Oh, this is so hard. And then, yeah. like, uh, uh, you know, a real zoolander. Like, oh, yes. Uh, and then, like, 
but you know, just kind of like share the, the sweat cloth, help out, and then maybe just move from helping to supervising <laughs> to uh, uh, like you should really be getting paid for this, and, and oh, you just give me that back. Uh, this is silk. I don't know what's going on with you, but I, this was expensive. What's going on? Is he turning uh, into a union boss? Is he is he marrying uh, the whole... I, I'm, yes, I'm also asking why are the um, uh, other crows not doing this work? And, uh, have you, like, well, worked, it, worked it out with them? <laughs> are, you, are you a scab? A scab? Are, are you not in the union doing union? Are you not the crow? I'm just, I'm just offering to help out. Oh, okay. A lot. They, so they it's, seem it's fine if it's free work that you're taking from the unions. They're, they could, they're they, helping. But they could be getting paid for this. Some of them are. Some of them. I'm sure they all are. They're helping. Lord, okay. I just figured I'd volunteer my time to help because a lot of them were nervous that, you know, they thought a lot of the trouble that was in town was because we were here. Okay, I thought it was a good way to help clear the name a little. Alright. Clear the name, yes, yes. Not criminals. I love it. Uh, I'll keep that straight. We're not. I'm just gonna walk away, back away like this. Not criminals. When not I see criminals. your hand go up like that, I'm just gonna high five you. Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh god! Oh god! You're right, sir! You're right, sir! And then I'll just kind of move away extra Please don't fast. Please do again, sir. Uh, but there's one more thing I wanted to do. This man uh, uh, just kind of write a letter to the Lady Abernathy. Uh, just something, just something, flowing script, uh, and then place the uh, handkerchief with his leaf scent in it, and then it just says, "I miss you." Okay. Oh no. <laughs> Uh, well, can you? Uh, good thing that's not Jolie. Uh, can you please make a uh, a deception check? Why are you doing this? <laughs> it's only a ten. Okay. All right. You send off the letter. Okay. I want to have one more like minor thing. Just. <laughs> Just to play the game, uh, while, while they're out doing their business and doing the best to make themselves look like the the fine, upstanding, not union breaking, racketeering criminals that they are, I kind of like every once in a while, like I'll just make up to give myself a black eye, and then <laughs> just be having a conversation with Zeke in earshot of. Uh, the rest of the townsfolk and explain that, you know, I, I tried to pay them uh, full price for this, but they said I, I owed them more money. Do I hear him doing this in the bar as a spider? Uh, oh, no. You've just been hanging out as a spider in the yeah. bar for yeah, like a week. Yeah, for like a week. Yeah, <laughs> he just lives in the bar. It's all right. He's just, all right, just all right, really so enjoying your make a performance check. <laughs> Climb on the ceiling. Uh, and make a perception check. Uh, Only a nine. Sixteen. You definitely hear. Okay. Okay. Just throwing it out there. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Wasn't a good throw, buddy. Not when you've got Spider Man hanging up uh, on you the whole time. We've got DC and. <laughs> yeah. In that one yeah, how did that happen? <laughs> a bad Spider Rabbit. All right, so anything else you guys want to do during your downtime <coughs> of this 10 day of rest, relaxation, shenanigans, uh, property acquisition, uh, performance? All right, so uh, I think, uh, yeah, it's a little early for break. I think we'll go ahead and take a break as we head. Uh, out of Fairport. So we will be right back, guys. Uh, we're going to log off. We will come right back. Don't go anywhere. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye.